This year, the Los Angeles Unified School District laid off more than 4,000 employees. Classrooms are so packed some students don't have desks. Superintendent John Daisy was forced to eliminate half of his administrative staff because he cannot afford to lose more teachers. How big are the challenges, especially when it comes to finances? They're enormous. We have an overall budget in the last three years that's seen um, the $2.1 billion in reductions. We don't actually run the programs we used to. Two years ago, we ran $49 million worth of summer school. Um, this summer, it'll be just under $1 million. Last month, the L.A. Teachers Union agreed to 10 unpaid furlough days to save 4,000 jobs. The school year will be five days shorter. 18 days have now been cut from the school calendar in just four years. Lori Adams teaches high school math. She says with fewer teachers, classrooms that had 20 students now have 31. When you have, you know, 10 more students in the classroom, there's, that's a lot more questions to answer. And, and it, it's just hard to get to all their individual needs. California voters face a choice in November to plug the state's $16 billion deficit. They either approve a half-cent sales tax increase, an income tax hike on those making more than $250,000, or face $5.4 billion in automatic cuts in education funding. We were the envy of the United States, and our higher ed program was the envy of the world, you know, but 25 years ago. That is not the case any longer. Now, if those new taxes are not approved this fall and billions more are cut from education, the L.A. school district could actually opt to shrink the school year by another three weeks. And, Scott, that would leave L.A. with the shortest school year in the country and one of the shortest in the entire industrialized world. Thanks, Ben.